Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have the Mermaid Foundation Brush. So, as you can see, I'm not wearing foundation, so I look a bit strange because I've just got like real crazy eyeshadow and lips, but my face is like normal. There's no highlight, nothing. Oh. So, I'm going to try the Mermaid Brush. So let's start with it in general. So this is the brush here. As you can see, it's beautiful, like, rose gold color. And then it's a nice, soft brush here. So I got this from AliExpress for, like, $3. So the real one is probably about $15. But I was like, oh, I'm just going to pay $3. Because, I mean, they would be made the same. And I've seen that the real one actually isn't that great. So I'm like, well, why not try the fake one then? I mean, it can only get better, right? So that is it there. Alrighty. So now... I'm going to get, well actually use Prep and Prime, just do Prep and Prime, oh I almost rub my eyes, oh this is hard when like I've already done my brows and stuff, oh, I hope I don't like smudge off my face, alrighty so now I'm going to get some Bibber Cream, I'm just going to pour it on like so and I'll just bring you closer to my face, so I have this on my brush and I'm just going to I'm going to wipe it down my face. Okay, so it's going on like quite nice I suppose. Just kind of like painting it on. The brush isn't like super nice feeling but it's not too bad. And I can get under like my crevices of my eye. Uh, but it just kind of moves the product around. See, look, there's like a big patch there. Hang on, I'll just go back to wiping. So I rubbed it in okay. I'm just going to put some more on it now. So it didn't actually do too bad with that. I probably seemed like a little bit on my nose because see my nose is actually quite red. So I'm just going to get a little bit more. I'm just kind of try and smush it on my nose. But actually like I'm not actually that mad at it right now. Like I mean a beauty blender is way easier but like this is really cute. So Okay so it's not really good at blending it on the nose but what I'm going to try now is I'm just going to put like some concealer under my eyes and see how good it is at blending that out. So I'll just put some under here. Put some on my nose too. See this could work out or it could be a complete waste of product, we'll see. Okay, so I've like drowned my face, so now I'm going to use the other side, which isn't as dirty as this side. Use this side here, and I'm just going to kind of like dab it in, like blend it in. Okay. Is it blending it in? Yes. Is it also making me have spots all over my face? Also yes. That's only dabbing it, so I tried wiping it to wipe all the like foundation on but now I'm like dabbing it and that seems to be working okay apart from I've got like big lines in it that I can see oh god oh my nose okay um okay so literally I'm just gonna try wipe it in nope that doesn't work either I'm like can you s can you see how it's just like wiped it all around there So yeah, that's not ideal. Okay, okay, I'm just trying to... Alright, I have to use a beauty blender to fix this mm -hmm. because it is just like everywhere. 
because it is just like separating. So I mean, it was alright for like a little bit of the brush, but not if I actually want to do a good job. Which is kind of like what I was wanting to do. So like apart from it kind of like breaking up under my eyes, it actually wasn't that bad for my BB cream. Like I've put, all I've put on is setting powder and of course highlight and bronzer and honestly like it's not even like i'm just gonna get like a close-up honestly it's not even like super patchy or anything it actually kind of went on okay the conceal i did fix with the beauty blender but it actually wasn't that bad like it still was like obviously not ideal because i had to fix it but the bb cream kind of rubbed in but that's more like a moisturizer anyway like i feel like this would be really good for like if you don't want to use your fingers if you had like acrylic nails and didn't want to use your fingers to like get your moisturizer out you could just use this and kind of like moisturize your face with it which I think would be a good idea because I have thought about doing that with a brush when I had acrylic nails but now it's my natural nails but anyway like I feel like it would be good for that but you know I think yeah like it's okay to use but it's more of like an inconvenience so I'd say it's more of like a little novelty thing because I mean look how cute that is like so yeah I'd say this is more of a novelty than something that you can actually use every day but in saying that it's hella cute, it feels very nice, and it did distribute the product, but more for like, mm. but I'd say it's more for like moisturizing and, you know, that kind of thing. BB cream's not doing, you know, concealer or foundation, or if you're wanting to go on a night out, maybe just have a play, maybe just like a fun practice thing, something you give your kid or something like that, but um, yeah, I wouldn't say that it's something that I would use all the time, but I'm definitely going to clean it and put it on display because it is so cute. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and if you did, please give me a big thumbs up, tails up, Ooh. and don't forget to subscribe wherever the box is, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!